The lowest moment was the day I found out I had cancer. Where I come from, uh, if you have cancer, you, you don't make it. He basically, it was just like a whirlwind. He said that he, f he felt it and said that it was cancer. It really caught me by surprise that I would be dealing with uh, cancer. Well, I was at peace. I really, there was no fear. I think naturally, I don't know, but I was scared to death. What actually was really scary is I thought I'd never walk my daughter down the aisle. I don't think about the end or anything, but sometimes I do. A lot of people had given up, said I was you know, pretty much finished. <sighs> Yesterday's gone, and tomorrow's not here yet. So you have to deal with the moment. I had so many fears and anxiety going into chemotherapy. Primarily, I was concerned about the nausea. She warned me of several, several side effects and nausea, uh, uh, headaches, uh, stomach problems, and I had absolutely none. Mm. Can I cuss? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I would come in and do the chemo treatment either in Fountain Valley or Corona. And I would go to work the same day, never miss work. After the chemo, you kind of feel foggy headed, but um, that goes away as well. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel because the side effects are horrible, but they also stop. And I looked like one of those little old men that you see in the commercial with a smoking thing. This is the way you'll end up. That's the way I looked. Now I'm afraid I gotta go on a diet again. The highest point is the first time you have the scan after treatment and it comes back clear. You, you have to have complete faith in the doctor that's taking care of you, especially with this illness. Whatever they would do for their family, that's how I wanted to be treated. And if they couldn't do that, I'm walking. I, I've never been so completely taken care of by anyone, ever. It was the way he came in and optimistically began to speak to me about my condition. She would always ask at least three times, now do you have any other questions? Do you have any other questions? Until it became quite a joke that we would make up questions that had nothing to do with cancer just so we could talk to her. My wife and my mother were in the, uh, my room and he was actually asking me if I wanted to fight. And at one point he even pulled me off the, off the bed. I was so light with a gurney and I said, yes. And I don't remember this, I was unconscious, and that's when he said, I'll fight with you. Oh yeah, she said, no, you're not gonna die. She said, no way. <laughs> there wouldn't have been a better place on this earth for my husband to go and for me to be part of the experience than compassionate cancer care.